SED American Cancer Society recently held their annual Relay for Life at Central Park. This year's theme being Give Cancer the Boot. Many of those in attendance had their own story to tell. Some of those have lost loved ones to cancer, some of those have survived cancer, and many of those are still in the fight against cancer. Later that day at 9 p.m., those in attendance gathered at the stage for the Luminaria ceremony. Cancer survivor Jackie Solano read the Luminaria candle lighting poem and lit the first candle. I am a warrior, so it should be no surprise. Cancer pushes me down, but I choose to rise. After every candle was lit in the crowd, a lap of silence was taken, letting those in attendance reflect on how cancer has affected their lives. In the beginning of the time that I started Relay for Life, my uncle was diagnosed with cancer, and my freshman year of high school, my uncle actually passed away from cancer. The Peach family has been affected by cancer in many ways. First with Brad's mom, and now his wife, Laura. She was diagnosed March of this year with a squamous cell carcinoma, which is a skin cancer. Everybody's here for the same reason. We're all here to fight against cancer, to raise money to, for the research of cancer, and all kinds of stuff. I love like the community comes together as a whole. The SCV branch of the American Cancer Society has raised $350,000 since September 1st of 2016, and will continue to raise money until August 31st of this year. One of the reasons we do what we do is when you know, this first started 35 years ago, or 37 years ago now, um, not in, in, in Santa Clarita, but when the event really, itself really first like started, nice. um, there was a less uh, than, there was about a 30% a survival rate with cancer at that point in time. Today there is a 50% survival rate in cancers. That is the difference Real for Life and the American Cancer Society has made. With Cougar News, I'm Michelle Lutz.